Ooh, a mystic urn. Now that basically, well, in fact, there's no basically to it. All that does is just restore all of your health. Now, you're pretty much going to want to save those for the really hairy situations, which I don't think we should have any in this hub, but... And, of course, the torch there that I picked up, and that was a close call I thought I was gone for. The one giant pit that won't kill you if you fall down into it. Lovely. There's actually some health down here, that's great. I'm guessing that big thing there is an elevator, but... Let's explore here. Something just teleported in. Somewhere. Hm, whatever. Anyway, the torch, as you figured, brightens up the area. But we don't really need it since... In the PlayStation, the Saturn, and the PC versions... This game is really dark, but the 64 version brightened things up a bit, so the torches really don't... They're really not that useful of an item. Now we can go up here and see what's cooking. Ooh, a stealth kill on the... Well, it could have been a stealth kill on the it. This looks like the first area here. Also looks like some kind of a trap. So let's just dash up here. Uh-huh, what did I tell you? I'm getting... Where is he? Oh! Stealth Etten. He ninja'd me there. That's kind of gnarly. I guess they can't walk in through that little walkway. I don't understand it. They can walk up and down stairs, and some doorways they can go in, but others they can't. Like this giant huge one? They can't go in it. But those little bit if there's a narrow passageway, hell, they'll aim for that fucker and go right up. Brilliant. Well, I don't see any other switches around here, so I guess... Back to where we started from. Maybe... Maybe those two doors opened up over here. Okay, scratch that theory. Ah! But there are two little arrows pointing here, so let's... replenish our health and go check them out. I think this is where we get the steel key, if I'm not mistaken. Like I say, it's been ten years since I played this game, so I'm probably mistaken. No, that looks... Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. See that indention there? That's where our flame mask goes, and of course, well, after we kill the birds here, this is where we get our fire key. After the slow-moving pillar finally lowers enough for us to get it. Oh well, that's great. I fell in between the pillar and the floor. Lovely. All right, there we go. Now we can tackle the other side. Bloody blind elevators. I hate blind elevators. Especially when you're dealing with the kind of enemies that we're up against now, like those, uh... Windigos, I believe those things are... Yeah, <laughs> There you go. Those ice enemies there. I think their proper term is Windigo. Kill everything in here. This looks like a very fun room. Everything's moving around. Gotta love it. I'm sure there's nothing left here. I'm just gonna jump out and get me. Yeah, huh? That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Oh. I don't understand it. Normally, sometimes they'll die in one hit from the axe, and others it takes two. It's very different. Well, that looked like a key up there, but I can't get to it, so there's gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Huh. Speak oh the devil. What do we got? Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna wait for that crap to all fall away. That looks like a good thing that I didn't do, because some of the ceilings look like they smashed down. Hey, that would not have been very pretty. But now we can get the steel key, and in this wide open area, I'm guessing that once I pick it up, shit's gonna start to crumble. Yeah, so let's just run away. I'm not sure if anything's gonna spawn back there or not. I'm not waiting around to find out. And with that out of the way, I think we're done here, so let's go back to the Guardian of Steel, shall we? After we pick up everything that we can here, of course. Because I think we're gonna need it. Now, let's head that way. Alrighty, now that we have both of those keys, we can... I know the flame door, and I think the steel key opens up that elevator over there in the... Ooh! Stairs rose. Awesome. Well, let's see if some of these other doors opened up here, and that's... Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong side. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, they opened up. Alright, good stuff. So let's... Oh. They kind of ramped up the enemies that are in here, too, so that's a new and exciting twist. But I bet there's still a Chaos Serpent behind there, so... After we eliminate all of our other minor threats, we can deal with him. And I think that once we go through the Steel and Fire Temples... Or... Fire Temples? 
because I got Zelda on the mind for some reason. But once we go through uh, the Guardians of Fire and Steel one more time, we should be about done with this hub. But then again, I don't know, so... We'll tackle the Guardian of Steel first, because I really don't like that level. I don't know, it's... I can say it's a good level. Ooh, centaurs. Really f pulling out all the stops on us now. They have to, they can't stop us with what they're throwing at us so far, so... Gotta try a little harder. But, like I say, I really don't... It's a good level and all, but... I don't know. The music is good, the atmosphere is good, it's just... I don't like it, and that's great. If it would blow up, it would kill him. Come on. Okay, maybe not, but... Yeah. You know, I'm getting pretty good at taking down those Chaos Serpents, I gotta say. Now... <laughs> Watch, the next one I find is gonna chew me up, and I'm not even gonna land a hit on him. Now, before we go in there, let's see what the hell is up here at the top of these steps. I think it's another piece of the puzzle or something like that, another third. And Dragon Skin Bracers. And it was a switch that did apparently nothing. You gotta be shitting me. There's no way I took damage from running down the steps. The fighter's just that awesome. He runs so fast he flies off the steps and unfortunately takes damage. Well, this looks vaguely familiar. Did it even start us off in a different area? Huh. Alright, well, let's take a little looky here. No way. Okay, maybe it did. Unless all the enemies just happen to respawn, which, if my luck is that bad, then that's... Actually, that would figure, but still, let's hope not. Wow. There do seem to be a lot more Etten over here than there were last time, so... Weren't there a couple of centaurs up here that came down? Hmm. No, not anymore, anyways. Okay, we are in a different area, yay! Look, it's another steel key door. And now that we actually know how to open those doors, we just walk up and press them, we should have no problems whatsoever. Yippee. Let's take a looky, kill the enemies inside. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't remember them being able to shoot through that little window there, but... Alright, that works. Good. Oh, there's two of them in here now, huh? Oh boy, double the fun. Still, they pose no threat. Well, unless they shoot through the window again. But I was gonna say, what are the odds of that, but apparently pretty good, because they just did. Just kill a random bird for no reason. Now we get to rinse, or excuse me, we get to lather, rinse, and repeat on the other side. And with that out of the way, we can flip some switches. Bitches. Yeah. And go down here and collect our items. Oh. Random bird that appeared out of nowhere. Lovely. Alright, now... Okay, I get it. Yeah, this just leads up to the same area here. Alright. Excellent. That's what those giant rusted bars blocking our path the last time were. Oh, well that was a hell of a toss. It bounced all the way back. Oh. But it worked out. Totally planned it like that, I might say. I might add. So yeah, you can chalk that one up to the great skill that is me. Ooh. I'll lower your shield, asshole. No. I think I just got squished by the fucking door. That's not good. If the elevator will ever go down. Come on, what are you waiting for, Mr. Elevator? Go down, please. What the hell did I have to do? Bribe you? Come on, what are you waiting for? Fucking stupid fucking ass elevator. Let me wait till the damn door shuts. Now the motherfucker should work. Come on. There we go. The game's being a finicky little bitch. That's alright, I know how to deal with that. Alright. Should've guessed, same area. I guess this is gonna solve another third of the puzzle. That would, what would that put us up to? Four thirds? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Sure, why not? Ooh, a lot of quartz flasks though, so that's always good. Oh! It didn't solve another third. We actually have to find another switch. Hmm. I wonder where that switch could be. So why don't we go open up that area, and we will see if my hunch is correct. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, if the elevator will actually cooperate with us this time, we can see if that other switch is over there, which... If this game follows a pattern, which so far it has, then it will be. 
course, another blind Etten. I'm not sure why they don't come after me. I mean, they are looking right at me. It's, it's not like they can't see me. Well, unless they really are blind. Ah! Stairs have risen on the seven portals, so I guess... It didn't want to use any more of its fuzzy math and give us four-thirds of the puzzle solved. So, I guess that's partly good. Also got a banishment device. What that does is... You can fire it as an item, and if it hits an enemy, it will send them to, I think, the start of the level that you're on? It sends them somewhere in the level, other than where you're at. So, that could be useful if you're in a crowded room. 